Hi, welcome to Mystical Mondays. I am your host, Anna Raimondi, coming to you from Connecticut. Today, I'd like to talk about cutting cords and walk you through an exercise so that you may cut the cords with situations or people that you would like to. So what is cutting cords? Cutting cords in a metaphysical and spiritual sense refers to a process of energetically severing ties with a person, a situation, a past event. It is a way to bring peace as we energetically let these things that don't serve us go. It is a practice rooted in esoterical and spiritual traditions. It revolves around the belief that we form energetic and spiritual ties with other people, places, or situations. And sometimes those ties can become unhelpful, unhealthy, or detrimental to our own well-being. The act of cutting cords aims to sever negative ties and frees oneself from unwanted energetic entanglements and to release the negative energy or influence associated with that connection. Let's discuss this in more detail. So energetic cords are believed to be unseen ties or links that connect one person's energy field to another. They can be between family members, friends, lovers, coworkers, or even a stranger who you feel did you wrong. Not all cords are seen as negative. So not all connections, energetic connections to people are negative. Some believe that cords represent positive and loving connections. I am attached to my husband, my children, my friends. However, the cords that are draining or based on negative emotion, such as fear, anger, jealousy, are the ones that are most often targeted for cutting. Well, those really are the only cords you should cut. You leave the, the, the nice and happy and loving cords where they should be. So why cut them? Well, why carry them? Why carry that energy? Cutting cords can be a symbolic gesture to let go of past traumas, negative influences, or toxic relations. It can help the person feel more grounded, happier, centered, more in control of their emotions. This process is done to promote healing, enhance personal growth, and faster emotional independence. So how do we cut these cords? There are various methods and techniques, but common approach must look something like this. You have an intention. You begin by setting a clear intention to release any negative or draining energetic connections that are attached to a situation, a person, whatever it may be visualization. Close your eyes and take a few breaths. Visualize the cords extending from your body. They may look like strings or chains or ropes, whatever seems to work for you. Cutting. What do you cut with? Anything you want. An axe, a scissor, a sword, a laser beam of light. All will sever the cords. As you do so, imagine the energy returning to its source and your own energy releasing. Protection. After cutting, visualize a protective shield or bubble around you to prevent the unwanted energy cords from reattaching. I like to do this in the beginning and so I put you in a, in a place of 
protection and a bubble in the very beginning so that you don't have to do it at the end. And I, you can do it at the end if you want to, but you can also do it in the beginning. After the cord is cut, it's very important that you ground yourself. So that could be taking a bath, walking barefoot on the earth, eating some grounding foods like vegetables, um, or doing a grounding meditation, whatever works. Let me just take my shoes off and go walk around. Um, stay hydrate, hydrated, like any meditation or any kind of energy work. It's important to let the toxins leave your body instead of holding them in. And so you just um, use water to flush away any residual energy. The act of cutting cords involves a deeply personal and individual experience. It is unique to each individual. If you feel that you may be energetically connected to someone in a harmful way, it's important to address any real world issues or relationships that may be contributing to these problems. After the cords are cut, engage in a self-care practice. You may wanna meditate, um, walk in nature, do yoga, and what I'm talking about is the coming days around it to support the cutting of cords. Now, cord cutting doesn't necessarily mean ending relationships. It can, but it doesn't always mean that. It can mean releasing unhealthy energetic ties. If you feel an energy in a relationship is toxic or harmful, you may want to address them also with a therapist. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to help you cut cords with whatever situation, whatever person, whatever you need to release yourself from the energetic negative prison. So what I'd like you to do is please close your eyes and take a deep cleansing breath in. Breathe in and out, releasing all anger, all pain, anything that doesn't serve you during this time. And fill yourself with love and peace and all that the universe wants to bring you to help you release from all negativity. And as you breathe in, allow your shoulders to relax your abdomen to relax, your legs to relax as you breathe in and out. Imagine a white light coming to you from above. It moves into your crown, going through your abdomen, through your legs, into your feet and grounding you to the floor. It begins to spin around you and you may feel like you're in a cocoon of protection. And this is the divine light. You are totally protected. And nothing will come into this space to enhance the negative energy or to control it. As you walk with protection around you in this meditation. I'd like you to imagine you're outside. No shoes on. Standing with your back against a big solid oak tree. And you look down and you notice a rope on the floor made of hemp, natural fiber. And you pick it up and you put it to your solar plexus and it immediately becomes one with you. You recognize the tautness of the rope, knowing that it's attached to someone else on the other side. And you put out an intention of who you would like to sever energy with. And immediately the rope 
becomes more taut. And as you look where the rope goes, you see it attached to the solar plexus of another person. And this is the person that you would like to sever energetic ties with. This cord that exists between the two of you can be severed. And you look on the ground and you notice a saw. And you pick it up and you notice it's very sharp. And you begin to saw the rope with the intention of cutting the cord. And it may be difficult at first, but the energy of the sword and your intention helps this to move faster. And you continue to cut the cord. Feel what it feels like as the cord is being cut. And then check your feelings to feel what it feels like once the cord is cut. As the cord is cut, it falls to the ground. And you may experience a release, a feeling of lightness, a feeling of joy as that energetic bond is cut. When I count to three, you will come back to the room that you're in. Wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, and open your eyes. Now this exercise may work immediately. In some cases it doesn't. It requires you to repeat it until you feel the release. Also recognize that whatever the energy was or still is, you also need to release it from your mind. When you feel yourself thinking about it, let it go. If it persists and begins to dominate your life, you need to speak to someone in the healthcare profession that can help you through this. In many cases, this works. It's almost like someone has their claws into you. And once it's released, you feel this feeling of being at a prison. This is one of the many tools that people use to cut energetic ties. I hope you use it when you need to. In the meantime, I am Anna Raimondi and I am coming to you from Connecticut. I hope you continue watching Mystical Mondays and I will see you the next time. God bless you all.